Afternoon everyone, uh, just the usual reminder for the cameras at the back, we'll do two sections. First one for immediate use and the second one for 10.30 this evening. Roger, do you want to start us off? Good afternoon, Ralph. Um, Hello. First of all, can I ask how you go about approaching this game? Obviously the last round was a lot of concerns and pressures in the league and you made a lot of changes. This time round, do you go with a stronger team or do you give a few players another rest? Uh, stronger than a two... Zero win. I don't know if I got with a stronger team. I think I trust every player I have in my squad. Oh, but that's right. We we changed more uh, for the last uh, or for the first round or for our first round in the FA Cup. Um, yeah, I think um, sure opponent strong side, and for us uh, we have a look. Played on played yesterday uh, on Tuesday and uh, had a few injuries also in the in this game. So at first we must look what play uh, who is available and uh, yeah I think um, because of uh, Cedric out for mainly three weeks maybe uh, with a ligament injury in the, in the, in the knee um, and um, Yannick is also out for with because he has a concussion. Uh, with the elbow he hit and um, long he has a swollen knee so also he's not able to play on the weekend so we have three automatically changes for the for starting 11 and then we have a look I don't know you put uh, Danny Ings on the bench for the Crystal Palace game the other the other day when you look around and you see the likes of Harry Kane you've seen Marcus Rashford Tammy Abraham at Chelsea key players goal scorers as well it really shows you the value of having that sort of player are you tempted again to perhaps leave him out on, on this one given how crucial his goals and his performance has been for you um, I think we handled the rotation very well over the very intense Christmas period and also now. It's not always easy for the players. I know that Ingsi always wants to play and especially in the league when you have 14 goals you want to play every game. It's normal. But I think also this history of the other players shows you how important it is that to give you your players sometimes <coughs> one game or a half a game a rest. And uh, he just played 30 minutes on Tuesday so I think it was perfect for him. It's like a session if you want a training session but even if you do it like this it's no guarantee that he's not keep uh, not getting an injury once so it's always a little bit luck and, and good recovery and good work with him on the pitch good uh, balance of the sessions and everything together I think until now we had really a good performance what means injuries so far I uh, don't want to speak much about it the last three now are, are from contact uh, Cedric um, uh, Yannick and, and Shane were hits, hits and so uh, from a contact or not from, from maybe muscle injuries or something like that How do you make those decisions on when a player to do the rest do you, do you, is it a Data, is it their stats? Are you medical staff telling you, or do you just get a feeling? You think played a couple, I'll, I'll leave him out this time. Um, when there's a, a, a slightly sign of of there can be something, then I'm a manager who immediately takes uh, him out. The players know this. The problem is when they know this that they are not always very honest. To the physios because they know immediately when they tell something, then then I'm keen to to let him out. On the other side, it's also about alternatives you have on positions. Sometimes we don't have any, so we have to play with him. Also, if there's a little bit more risk, and there are also position-wise, uh, yeah, we have especially the attacking four. They have to sprint a lot, uh, and if you want to do this three times in the week, it's not so easy, I think. And that's the reason why this position is mainly a position where I try to sub more. Can I ask about um, Che Adams? Um, there's been talk of interest from Leeds. Can you just tell us where that is? Have there been concrete bids for, for a loan, and uh, would that be something you you consider? Yeah, I've, I've recognized it that uh, now our players are 
interesting for other clubs uh, that shows that we do a good job here because they want to have him and um, he's not playing in the moment all that, that much but I think he feels how important he is for this team I need every player in my squad and this is what I always tell them so for us uh, there's no option because uh, we need every player um, I trust every player and I did it also in the moment where we were, haven't been playing that successful so this squad um, we need and uh, I don't want to uh, let anybody go. And presumably that includes Vestergaard, um, interest supposedly from, from Leicester City. Again, are you in a situation where that, that's been concrete? Has there been, been any sort of bid or at the moment or the, the stage where people are just talking about it? Perhaps? No, also there I don't want to talk about any rumours. What I can say is nobody was in my office and wanted to leave us. So uh, it, Also, we don't have to sell any players. Uh, Maybe we want to bring one or two in, but still have the eyes open. Need every player in the moment. The squad is good balanced. We have a fantastic atmosphere. All the success we had in the last weeks was not based on one or two or the first 11. We, this was based on, on 20 players that are going in the same direction, and I don't see any reason why I should change this. And in terms of players coming in, you mentioned there may be one or two if it's the right thing. Kyle Walker-Peters the name has been knocking around and, and given that there have been injuries you mentioned to, to a couple of players, does, does that become increasingly important perhaps to bring someone in as, as cover and, and is Kyle Walker-Peters a possibility? At first, the injuries are hopefully not that long, huh? especially Cedric is, is not, not that worse than we thought in the beginning, so he will be back about three weeks. So that doesn't really make then uh, a difference if you want to bring somebody in because of injury. Uh, but uh, we, we spoke about generally about our alternatives on the fullback positions, and we don't have that much. Jan Veller is still not with the team training, so it can be. And yeah, Walker Beaters is a, a, a player who is playing on this position, but uh, I don't want to. to uh, um, 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 speak about the rumors. We have a few players in our mind. They in the winter break, it's not that easy to get something or somebody who who helps you immediately. And uh, if we want to bring somebody in, then he should be a, a option for the future also. Yeah? So only for loan and for the three months, it doesn't make sense for me because he has to learn how we play. He has to learn the style we play. And uh, I think that takes minimum one one month if he has no. F uh you know, history of, of, of knowing what we do, then it, it's 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 not so easy. Um, we touched before on how you approach this cup game um, and the league in the last round was certainly the priority. Now you've got this cushion, you've, you've won a lot of games and you're in good form. Are you starting to think now about the possibility of a, of a good cup run to run, run alongside this good league form as well? Even if we would be lower in the table, I think uh, we, we know about the importance of this competition and <clears throat> when you see the trophy there, I think everybody wants to yeah, get their hands on, on, on the trophy and uh, it's a short way to go there, a few games and uh, sure, it's, it's a, a big chance to, yeah, to, to get a title and a trophy and I think this is everything uh, what is interesting for the weekend, so go with the best possible squad to, to go in the next round against a strong side. And just um, to touch on the, on the league form, just a few weeks ago we were looking at Southampton being involved in a relegation battle. A few wins later, people are talking about challenging for European spot. Has your focus changed in terms of what you can achieve this season? Is that something you're talking about? Yeah, this is exactly the problem in modern football. Eh? When you uh, pick a few wins, then suddenly uh, everything is... Yeah... Dreaming, everybody's dreaming, they can do it. Uh, for us, it's important that we still see how good we are, and that's right. We took a few fantastic games and fantastic results, but we know that if we stop doing what made us strong, then we are, will be immediately a uh, uh, maybe team that is not really competitive. And I think all the the rainy days we had before the sun came out uh, helped us to enjoy the moment but to think and to, to, to remember how quick it can change and uh, this is I think a good message and maybe if there was some positive in the beginning of the season that the reason that we were absolutely at the bottom of our performance and we know what we had to do that we are getting a better team and this is the only focus we have now and not dreaming about anything else stay, stay focused on, 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 our, on the process and then the faster the result will come just finally from me, we talked before about the importance of Danny Ings and his form and his goals. 
how pleasing was it the other night to, to get a result where you were able to leave him on the bench and you saw other people step up and get the goals? Yeah, this is the good option I have him because uh, I have a few guys in hand. They they really show that uh, they want to be part of this winning squad and um, that was the reason why I had no fear let Danny out because because Michael is in, in good form in the moment he he is really improving uh, he is a big talent and uh, we want to protect him because he was a, he has also a, a big history of injuries here but in the moment it seems that he stays fit and we we handle the balance very well and um, finally I think uh, with Shea and Longy and Ingsi four players for two for two position it's perfect um, that's exactly what I want to have thank you thank you hi so four Premier League away wins in a row arguably the best away performance for the season how high is confidence right now amongst the players and how high are your spirits you know um, sometimes you look on a game and you think oh it was okay it was good and then you watch it again on, 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 on the video and you say well, it was not really that good but I must say uh, what I liked the most in the last game was that we we didn't everything right, but we stick to the game plan and we stick to and believed what what we also in possession can can do against such a squad, and that was the reason why we created a lot of chances. And this this continuing the the development in in all in all four parts of our game, so means in possession against the ball and transition after losing or after winning the ball all these four parts we, we try to develop in the moment and the, and the guys are doing it really well enjoy the work a lot uh, we are not easy to play in the moment because we are very committed and then it stays like this and we keep it high 90 minutes then um, we can uh, really win uh, against also very good teams No secret, hard work, and the difference is uh, a transformation. I think uh, from nearly every player, um, I cannot pick one. If I do, the best example maybe is is, is Stewie Armstrong because um, Stewie, I can remember discussions about uh, what is his best position and uh, he wanted want to play at ten, wanted to play eight or something like that. I had these discussions very long, and now he. He adapted to the to the ten like a like a player that is really open-minded and and try to learn and and the way he developed his game in the last weeks was was I think a, a typical example for our transformation as a team and as a club and this is um, only one one example. Were you ever in doubt when things weren't going to plan when, when games weren't going to plan? Did you always believe you could turn things around? Um, I think that I also made uh, mistakes in, at that moment and uh, the most important thing for a manager is to see it clear to be honest I was spoke about being honest to yourself and uh, res take the responsibility and, and think about what you have done wrong maybe and I think uh, we we found the things that we had to turn and um, uh, if you if you are that clear to yourself, then you can also be clear to the other guys because you are part of it. And um, that's, that was the reason why I think it's a typical example of um, make one step back before you make two or three steps forward. And I think our situation was exactly the way. We tried to step back to our basics before we, we develop everything else. And um, yeah, I think this was a, a typical example for this. Does current form give Gareth Southgate something to think about? Yeah, I think um, Danny was uh, a, a constant, uh, high-level performance player, and I think that this, um, because of he was very fit uh, during the season, um, and uh, that he knows where how to score, and he has a fantastic strike, and 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 uh, knows where he can get something fantastic and pressing. Changed his game also a little bit. I think he's also adapted to what we do now. The guys look at him, uh, and when he has a chance, he's very clinical. So all the all the. Qu
qualities you have to have if you want to be a top striker in the Premier League and uh, I'm very happy for him because last season it was difficult with all the injuries and now he's feeling comfortable and um, still hungry and this is a good combination. Uh, I don't know. I don't think the confidence is low because the one yesterday evening and uh, every game you win gives you confidence. Uh, a very strong side with fantastic players, fantastic manager, and uh, still. <clears throat> yeah, although we have won the last game, we know how tough it was. It was a tight game, and uh, yeah, it would be a tough fight, I think. Yeah, also uh, the st strongest possible side uh, we have to face. And um, again, a, a, a typical cup fight. And uh, yeah, in our grounds where we have, a, a, I'm sure, a very good atmosphere for this game. And um, that means uh, yeah, it will be a typical good cup challenge. Yeah, I think the trophy looks good, eh? So, um, I think it's it's nice in England that you have two chances to 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 go through the cup, and uh, I don't know, maybe this is the more famous one, but but uh, um, I remember when I was a, a small kid and I was watching the FA Cup final. It was a special game in Wembley, and. Uh, uh, everybody wanted to be wants to be there. It was maybe one of the first football games I've seen in my life. So uh, you, you you see about the history of this of this competition of this cup, and uh, to be part of uh, as a manager, um, uh, something special for me. Finally, Liverpool next in the league. Are they beatable? It's a little bit early to speak about this game. Huh? Let's focus on the weekend, and uh, let us at first do our job for the weekend, and then we can. We can focus on the yeah on the big big Liverpool. Okay, well in that section there, move on.